Get the fuel get back out there. Uh, felt great. I was hopping around, jumping around, uh, having energy. Everybody had energy because uh, I, I, I just miss being out there. I would say that you know, the first month of the season, the training camp didn't go the way you probably wanted. How have you been through this before, too? Were you frustrated? How did you manage the emotions of that, not getting to do the stuff that you want? Uh, to be honest, like I handled it like very well in my part because um, when I was injured before, like during camp, I always had a bad attitude. Didn't have the great mindset, of course. Like I always thought, like oh, the world's ending, uh, my career's over. But really, it's like a short, short little time frames. So, like I move on from it, recover, do recover yourself a little bit, and have a great mindset. Were you concerned at all when you got the one in camp that it might linger for you? Could really sidetrack the issue. Yeah, I had uh, little doubts, but also at the same time, it's like I'm one of the leaders on the team. I can't have I can't have people see me down when I'm actually going to be okay. If I if people see me team, if people see me being down, like everybody gonna be down. You know, and that's how it usually is. Because uh, me in high school, uh, camp have we always and Zach Harrison always have energy. Always trying to bring people along. And CJ Stroud and Chris Love to bring people along so that just make sure that they are all right and they have energy as well. Claire, where does that change of mindset come from? That, you know, the part of you that a year ago or two years ago would say the world's ending to now realizing that it's, you know, just a couple days or, or a little bit different perspective? Uh, really time. Because uh, time and uh, being mature and going through a lot of stuff. And for me, for instance, like I had, you know, a very bad injury my sophomore year and that turned my whole world like in whole 360 and it was like all right now you gotta just calm down take it day by day don't rush it don't don't overthink it so much so yourself so you can overwork yourself mentally and physically and you won't perform on the field as well how important is it for you and the group to be able to do what you guys did on saturday with matt rotating him in with you in paris moving guys around so that maybe in a game like that, you don't need to be out there for every single rep. You know, uh, kind of like puts us in like like at, at, like at ease. Like, like for me, for instance, like if I go down, Matt's right there to go. You know, if Paris, if Paris go, goes down, knock on wood, of course. Uh, Dobby Jackson going, you know, so on and so forth. Like, it's like, you no, know, like everybody's ready for that, for that time. You know, it might not be line that we used to for like the first half but also the same time we just gotta keep going we always we always know like makes man up is this the deepest it's been the whole time you've been here like do you remember a time when you had this much confidence in two guys and like the deepest spot uh, no it's i kind of felt like it's been like that all five years i've been here you know with uh me me being a freshman uh in 2017 with marco billy mike um, Brandon Bowen, Meech, for instance, like Brandon Bowen got hurt and Meech stepped right in. And everybody see how he's doing right now. He's actually doing pretty well. So he was doing all right then. Uh, Josh Alby, he was doing well uh, when I got injured. Uh, who else? Uh, and Y Davis. And do you see where he at right now? Minnesota Vikings. So it's kind of like a rotating cycle. Everybody knows, like, all right, I got to put on my big boy pants now. Has anything surprised you about CJ's play? What do you mean? How well he's played, how well he's performed. Has anything surprised you? I don't know. He, he always wants to be the best. Like, like as far as like a freshman, he has been like more mature than any other freshman I've seen, and that's my guy. And he, he always he gets down on himself sometimes, but at the same time, like he knows like. I, I can't be down. I gotta stay up. I gotta stay positive. I gotta stay positive all the time. Even keel. There, did you think there'd be games where you get to play both guard and tackle? Yeah. I know that you could, right? Yeah, but. I can. <laughs> uh, really, if Nick goes down, Matt had to come in. I'd be at left tackle, and me being at left tackle is not. That big change is just all right. I'm in tackle stance now, I'm in large stance. And yeah, time is different. So, the way it worked out last week was it to get Matt involved? Was it uh, I don't know, just to 
experiment? This coach has, has still talked about it for you guys and tweaked it. Was that just the way it worked? Matt deserved to play? Matt, Matt has been doing a phenomenal job for the past four years that he's been here. And, it's, and he had days like he didn't want to be here. And he, and he knows it too, but we all told him, I told him, like, you got to stay even kill. Like, you can't get too high or get too down. So, like, if you, if you do that, you're not going to be able to play. That's, that's straight back. So, you got to move on for it from, you know.